Prepare yourself to hear something awesome. Well, um, to understand what the heck that was all about, we need to learn some physics. Number one, antimatter. Yes, it's real, and yes, it exists. For every fundamental particle of matter, there's a corresponding antimatter particle, but it's very rare and need something like a particle accelerator to create it. Number 2. Quarks Quarks are the building blocks of the nuclei of atoms. But many more types are available than you can find in your average atom, and you need a particle accelerator to create them. Each has an antimatter brother. Number 3. Hadrons. Quarks are never alone. Quarks always bind together to form hadrons, which can contain two or three quarks or antiquarks. Number four. The strange world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is really, really strange. Stranger than that. No, stranger than that. OK, maybe not quite that strange. One of the weirdest things is that there are a few hadrons which mix up the difference between matter and antimatter. You could say that they oscillate between matter and antimatter, or better, that they exist as some sort of smooshed mess of matter and antimatter squashed together. Number 5. Sound and Frequency Sounds that you can hear are the result of air vibrations wobbling your eardrums at a range of different frequencies. These matter-antimatter chameleons also have a frequency with which they change from one to the other. If we turn that straight into a sound, it would be much too high pitched for you to hear it, so we need to slow it down by millions of times for your puny human ears. Now we're actually going to try and make this sound. And for that, we need some data from the LHCB experiment. The LHCB experiment is a really great place to search for these weird matter-antimatter chameleons. And in a recent paper, we have observed two types of particles changing from matter into antimatter and back again. We start with the huge amount of data from the LHCB experiment, and filter out as much of the background noise as we can using a massive network of computers all around the globe. This graph shows the results of a whole year of data taking. And it has two different peaks, which come from two different particles called B0 and BS0. We can measure the decay times of the matter and antimatter parts separately, and we can sit back and watch or listen as matter changes into antimatter and back again. So now I'm going to play you what that sounds like. This blue box will move from left to right across the screen to show you which data are being played. At first, you'll hear only random white noise from the background. But listen carefully as we move through the two signal regions to hear something amazing. Well, 
I did warn you quantum mechanics was weird. Don't forget, the sound of what you just heard is the sound of matter changing into antimatter at up to 3 million million times per second. Hey, science is awesome.